Patients inside this psychiatric hospital have been getting sexually assaulted for years. It's a Highland Ridge hospital. And employees say they were trained to not report it. I was told verbatim not to call 911. I mean, we just kind of did what we had to do to keep our jobs. It's a story we started to expose more than a year and a half ago. Highland Ridge Hospital. Highland Ridge Hospital. It's a hospital and I need somebody here stat. Holy crap, this place is bad. Even from the second I got there, I knew like, I'm being exploited. The state admits there's a pattern. On one hand, they've labeled the problem as habitual, but on the other, they've given second, third, and fourth chances to a facility that admits it can't keep its patients safe. Harm coming to patients is unacceptable. If it's unacceptable, then why not shut down the facility? This is one that everyone needs to take a hard look at. I'm Fox 13 investigative reporter Adam Herbetz, and for the next four nights, We'll be right here taking a hard look at Highland Ridge Hospital in Midvale. Our series will show you why its doors are still open and what we found is really happening inside to some of Utah's most vulnerable patients. Please put them down. Okay, put those down, we don't wanna do that. It's Thanksgiving Day 2021 and Unified Police are trying to calm down another incident at Highland Ridge. Right. Just get my freedom stolen. And I've been here for 24 hours. I haven't seen my doctor yet. They've been out here for more than 100 cases since 2019. More than half the time, documents show it's because someone was reported physically or sexually violent. I've worked at other facilities, and I know that there is a way better standard out there. And Highland Ridge is the lowest of low. The state has revoked the hospital's license at least three times after identifying dozens of problems, from over-medicating patients to falsified paperwork. As a therapist, do you think patients left feeling better? I don't know if I could put a percentage, but a very low percentage of them were get, actually getting the care that they needed. Highland Ridge is basically a holding pen. You put them there, you put them on medication, and you leave them. As you can see, some employees do not want to reveal their identity, too afraid to damage their careers in the healthcare industry. Others say they don't care anymore. I probably knew about 10 to 15 when I was there. Sexual assaults? Yeah. The stuff that happened, it just makes me feel uncomfortable. Michael was 15 years old when he was at Highland Ridge for depression. He says there was no supervision. Some patients groped him, tried to have sex with him, or walked into his room while he showered. It felt like they normalized it. The staff members there just didn't do anything like they physically saw. They did touch me for their sexual pleasure. The nurse wasn't even in the same room. Whitney was 14 years old. She says she knew about kids having sex. I could definitely see how that could easily get missed, and that's how sexual assaults happen. They would transfer me to the unit, and then it would ring and ring and ring, and no one would answer. Amy Robinson in Arizona says she didn't know her minor son had sex until after he got home months later. And when she asked, an employee remembered it. And he's like, oh, I thought you knew about that. That happened on the hospital side. Um, they must not have actually reported it. I wanted him to have STD testing and they wouldn't do it in the hospital. Did they report this to police or Child Protective Services? Nope. The law requires all hospital staff to report assaults and sexual assaults. If you don't, it's a crime. Police have investigated 48 of those types of cases since 2019, but it's difficult to know how many times Highland Ridge knew and did nothing. In the majority of rape investigations, victims or their parents are the ones who called police, not employees. We were always told never call 911. If anything was happening in the building, we were to deal with it ourselves within the building, never outside of 40, no matter what. Even if it was an assault, a sexual assault, anything, no, we weren't allowed to call 911. Last year, we showed you how police have documented cases of employees telling them the same thing. 
the unwritten rule is to not call 911, even if the law requires it. Should I just hang up? Um, we, we think our patient may have died. CEO Jim Hess brags about being an expert in risk management in his bio. We asked him, what's the current policy for Highland Ridge on when to call 911 or police? He declined to answer, other than to say, we're proud of the care and programs we provide these patients. Have you spoken to the Attorney General's office at all? No, but I would be willing. After that interview, she and plenty of others did speak with the Attorney General's office. The state opened what was once called an aggressive criminal investigation. But tomorrow, as our special report continues, you'll see how only one employee was charged and why the state agreed to offer, quote, a little forgiveness. No jail time, just a $690 price tag on unreported sexual assaults. For now, reporting in Midvale, Adam Herbetz. Fox 13 News, Utah.